guys, so we have some exciting news today, very exciting for me. First, <laughs> thank you to David Gabriel and Marvel for sending us this new Annihilation reprint omnibus. That's coming out December 4th. Yep, December 4th. Now, this was actually my first Marvel book I ever read. And unfortunately, when I got into comics, this was already out of print. Okay. So this was very, very exciting for me. And it's finally here, and I have it, and I can finally own it and read it all the time. And it's just, there's been a spot on my shelf that's just been screaming, Maddie, I'll never be complete until I have the Annihilation Omnibus. Yeah. And I, now I do. I think that's an illness. I have the same one too. So we're going to do a comparison between the original printing and the new printing that's coming out on December 4th at retailers and places like Cheap Graphic Novels. So stay tuned. This episode is sponsored by CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. Right now they are currently running their Halloween horror sale, offering up to 80% off 450 spine tingling titles. This sale runs through October 31st while supplies last. Some of the deals this week include BPRD Hell on Earth Volume 1 Hardcover. Originally $34.99, but at 50% off, it's $17.49. As well as the Crimson Complete Omnibus. The retail price is $125, but at 50% off, it is $62.50. You can find the sale by clicking on the banner on Cheap Graphic Novels homepage or by clicking in the link in the description below. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with a kind of deep discount, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. Okay, so with Maddie's help, we're going to take a look at the differences. This is the original printing, and this is the new one right there. Um, let's look at the back. So the back, I think, is the biggest difference with the font. Yeah, and even then it's pretty slight, because it looks like these two parts are still the same. Mm -hmm. We just have a bold font for what's being collected in the book. Which is a good idea, honestly, yeah. because it needs to stand out. The price is the same. It's $125 mm -hmm. retailing. Uh, the ISBN, of course, has to be different because this is a, this book is a reprint. So let's look at the book without the dust jacket. So nervous. Don't be nervous. Be gentle. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so they look about the same, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Don't spine, see a difference. It's no difference in the, the back, back. No difference. Love well, the picture. Actually, yeah, it's the same. Same thing. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Now let's look at the inside and the build of the books. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the inside of the books and check out the differences, if Ooh. any. Okay, so, well, first off. <laughs> okay. We have blue on the new one, black on the old one. Much more epic. <laughs> Is it, though? <laughs> uh, we have the exact same image of Annihilus on both. Yeah, let's see. Maybe a slight... Maybe I don't know if it's the light, but it looks like there's a slight color difference. Maybe uh, I'm going crazy. Maybe a little bit. No, you're right, actually. A little bit greener. The tone is yeah. a little duller on this, and that one's a little... The new printing seems to stand out a little more. Yeah. Good eye. Good eye. Here is the credits and the contents of the book, of everything that it has in it. It's identical. I did a retro view of the old original printing, so if you want to check that out on the channel... Please do so. Oops. And of course, it kicks off with the Drax the Destroyer series. Now, this is what I'm curious about. The new printing has more uh, collected edition credits, whereas the original printing, it's not. Like, it's a lot smaller, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, let's enter. I guess it's a new team that is doing the books. So that makes sense. It was 10 years ago. Yeah. How about the paper quality? What do you what do you okay, think? Let me feel both. <laughs> yeah, you're really good okay. at feeling both of these papers. Um, I can't tell the difference. Although I, I still do see a consistent coloration difference throughout. I wonder if that's it's a not print. bad. It's just a little bit different. I think this is a, you can tell it's a little bit green, unless it's a little bit bluer, and you could tell that. I mean, just so far in these few pages. Yeah. I don't know if that continues throughout, or if that's due to the inking process they use right now. But it's not a bad thing. Well, let's check it out. Let's see if it does continue. Let's okay. go to another chapter. All right. Okay, let's look at the actual Annihilation prologue event. Um, honestly, the colors seem better on the new printing. I don't know. It could be, I mean, that's older. They just seem to stand out a little bit more. Maybe it's yeah. just my old eyes, too. That see, is... these ones look similar to me right now. Yeah. So I don't. I, it may not be throughout. 
That's okay. me. That's on me. That's on me. That's on <laughs> I was me. Like, what is different? Yeah, everything. I mean, it's yeah. a reprint, so it should be the same. They're using the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Printing methods. Uh, the only thing I was oh. wondering about was. That's a little bit different. What's that? The red outline here. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a red outline in the original, and I don't know if you can tell. It's more like a what like is a that? more transparent look. Burgundy, maybe a little burgundy. I don't know. Yeah. Good eye, Maddie. But then again, it doesn't. I mean, matter. Again, it doesn't it, take it, away it from. It won't matter. Like now, I see different coloration, but again, it's not. Yeah. It's I, nothing that's going to detract or enhance your reading at all. Like I, it's going to be the. Spot. Also, this is a book that's been. I mean, it's not like I've read it out in the sun or anything, but it yeah. is ten years old. So exactly. I'm not a hundred percent sure if that has something to do with the age of the book or not. The paper, I'm just, the paper might be, that's crazy. It feels identical. Yeah, I don't. I can't. See and the I know we've come to, we've come to complain about this state of the paper. I know it's a, it's so nitpicky, but it's the well, state it's, of the paper of omnibuses. You know? But to me, it feels identical. As a matter of fact, I don't know. It feels a little thicker, <laughs> right? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But everything else is, I to me, the same. Like I can tell maybe Drax is a little bit greener in this yeah, printing than he is just, over it's there. It's very, very slight. I don't even know if the camera's really going to pick it up or not. Now we're going to look at the actual Annihilation event, which is part of the six-issue miniseries. Because um, I know that with Annihilus, at least, it, you can tell the green, but man, that looks the same. I don't see same, any yeah. difference at all. Again, I think it just varies. I don't think it's consistent. Oops, that's on me. Yeah, it looks the same. I can maybe tell just a little bit in the skin tone yeah. of um, Rich right there, but everything else looks the same. So the paper quality to me actually seems better in the new printing than the original printing. Now, let's look at this binding. Okay. So we have the original printing at the bottom, and there's the eye, and the new printing over here. Uh, this is a better eye than you want to see than this. Not that this is bad. They're both sewn binding, but this just seems like uh, it's had its fair of love. Because I have read this many times. Whereas this is newer, which is what you want to see exactly. You don't want to see any tight binding. You don't want to see this glued down. This is what you want to see. So... Oh, man, wait a minute. It might start to come apart a little bit right there. I may have to switch your uh, uh, omnibuses. Nope. Okay, so original printing, new printing. Like I said, mine is starting to come apart from the spine a little bit, but the built of books were different back then. They seem to make them a lot better now. But this is what you want. You want it to lay down and be able to read your book like that. See how mine, mine isn't supposed to do that. It's supposed to be curved a little yeah. bit. Like a normal book. But just looking at the actual colors again, and yeah, so it looks the same. Happy that people get to read this for the first time, if they have not read it yet, or um, if they want to. I think the what do you think? I think the series lives up to the hype. Oh, absolutely! I think it's one of the greatest cosmic. It's my favorite Marvel cosmic saga, and I know that might be blasphemous to say when you compare it to Infinity Gauntlet or the Infinity Watch. Man, this is what got me into Marvel comics, though. See, you know, and there this you go. is like, I read this before I read really any other Marvel comics. Yeah. And I loved it, and I got hooked, and I didn't feel like I needed anything before this. So yeah. to me, it's very new reader friendly and very interesting. Well, there you go. There's Maddie's quick little 10-second review of Annihilation. There you go. <laughs> now, we just need Annihilation Conquest reprinted one day. But I've baby steps. I've got that one, so. Baby. Oh, okay. so that's okay? They don't need to reprint yeah. it? Yeah, okay. I'm good. All right. <laughs> baby steps. I believe there's an afterword here in the yeah, back, if I'm not mistaken, in the original one. Mm -hmm. Right after the Galactus splash page. And Yep, still the same. As you can see, mine. Probably not the best layover, but... And then the black. And that is that. All right. <laughs> that was it. That was our quick comparison between the two books. The old printing and the new printing. So excited for you guys that have never uh, read it and have always wanted to read it. It's coming back again on December 4th. Again, thank you to Marvel for 
sending us an advanced copy so we can look it over. It looks absolutely beautiful. If not more so than my book that's kind of falling apart. So I may end up having to get another one. But not mine. Not Maddie's apparently. So this was the Uncanny Omar. And Wonder Maddie. Wonder Maddie, thank you for joining me for this. Uh, click like, subscribe, uh, comments down below. And remember, if it's classy and cool, it must be near mint.